His parents were in court, but his fiancée, Megan McAllister, was not. She went to the jail where he was being held without bail and essentially ended the engagement. The evidence, it seems, became overwhelming for her. And the police kept uncovering more evidence as they delved deeper into Philip Markov's background. They found that he spent hours on the internet, trawling the kinkiest of websites, far kinkier than the adult services listings on Craigslist. He had set up an alternative lifestyle website. These websites catered to people who like bondage, S&M, transvestite sex, transgender sex. Authorities said it was just one more sign of Markov's secret life. Arms are arms with plastic ties. They believe they would have no trouble convicting him. All of this was really a mountain of evidence that pointed in only one direction and unequivocally that Philip Markov was the Craigslist killer. He would have been convicted of first-degree murder. There was an overwhelming amount of evidence that he planned these crimes, that he premeditated them, and he would have been sentenced uh, in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to life without parole. As the trial date neared, Trisha Leffler prepared as well. She had left Las Vegas and the life she was leading there. I'm living in Ogden, Utah. I am going to school to be a pharmacy tech. After everything, I just wanted to be around family and friends that, that knew me and knew my situation. She was getting ready to face Philip Markoff once again. I was nervous, but at the same time, a part of me wanted to confront him and show him that, you know, you didn't get the best of me. I helped put you away, and I'm glad I did it. Those closest to Julissa Brisman also prepared for the trial. Julissa's family was anxious for the opportunity to witness a public trial against Philip Markov. I wanted to see him. I wanted to lock eyes with him. But before the trial could begin, Markov would deny Julissa's family and friends any legal satisfaction. had a homemade scalpel that he fashioned from a razor and a ballpoint pen. I mean, he had thought all of this out. Philip Markov committed suicide on August 15, 2010. It would have been right around his first wedding anniversary.